The number one biggest royalty that artists leave on the table is the live performance royalty. And if you want to know how much that is or how you can actually register for it, find out next coming up on the Music Money Makeover Show. What is going on, everybody? My name is Casey Graham. Welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. And on this episode of the show, we're talking about live performance royalties, all right? And this is something that most artists don't know how to take care of they don't it just it goes totally under the radar and it's one of the highest paid royalties out there it's a very high paying royalty um and and people don't and artists actually artists have to say writers and artists do not pay attention to this royalty all right um it just goes over everybody's heads so let's jump into uh the show today now the fun fact about this is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an average rate of streaming. We're gonna say 0. 0.005, right? And this royalty, and I'm basing it on my uh, my royalty statements. I'll probably pop them right over here. Boop, put them right there. This live royalty right here pays out in the grand total amount of four dollars and twenty three cents if you own one hundred percent of the song. All right, so in order to get that much in streaming revenue at our rate that I stated just a few seconds ago at 0 .005, we're looking at about 846 spins just to get that amount. Now, if I go and I do my local open mic at a venue that is ASCAP and BMI accredited or they pay those royalties at those open mics or those venues that are known to have live music at it all the time, chances are they do pay those ASCAP and BMI royalties. All right, and if you perform in those venues, you can get a live performance royalty. All right, so per and this is per song, per song is four dollars and twenty three cents from my knowledge and based off the royalty statements that I have. Okay, for just one song, if you own one hundred percent, that means half of it will go to the publisher, the other half will, or the publisher's account, and the other half will go to the writer's account. And then let's say if you split that up by let's say the artist and the publishers of each artist, then It'll still be half. It's just all divvied up. However, it is um, uh, divvied up in your splits. So, four dollars and twenty-three cents is a big royalty. Now, imagine. Let's just work with me here. If you're doing an open mic and you do two songs, right? Then that's a pretty nice piece of change, right? That's just right up, right around eight dollars and fifty cents. Okay, but on, for a show that you were gonna do for free anyway, but you're gonna walk away with eight dollars and fifty cents now. I'm going to show you how this can add up, and I've got two models for you, all right? So check this out. For a part-time small indie band, we're going to do a seven-song, 30-minute set, okay? Follow me. I'm going to add this on to the side. Seven-song, 30-minute set, uh, and we're going to do it for, let's say, uh, for the one week, and that'll be $29.61. Only if you own 100% of the song, I'll keep throwing that in there, all right? Then, let's say if you're just, you're really good at booking these shows and you're doing this type of show 13 times in one quarter, once a week, every three months. I mean, for three months span, you're doing it for roughly uh, 13 weeks, all right? That royalty could add up to $384.93. That's not bad at all for a full set right then let's say if you're bossed up enough and then you're going to do it for the whole year one show a week for the whole year with these performance royalties it could add up to the, the grand total through bmi that is not ascap on stage but bmi it could be around one thousand five hundred thirty nine dollars and seventy two cents all right so to me that's pretty cool that's 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 that makes going to the open mics or doing the local showcase or the local show worth it, especially when you do it in the venues that pay for these royalties. Now, you can go into the BMI account or the ASCAP account and look up the venues that actually pay these royalties and then go out and do your shows. OK, just make sure you log your set list in there. The only way you can log this set list into the BMI and ASCAP system is if you are using a writer's account, okay? It doesn't have to be an artist's account, but it has to be based on the writer. I don't know why they put it this way, but I have a, a, a hunch that the reason why they did it this way is because they know that most writers will not 
remember to do it. So as the, as the venue pay these fees, nobody's gonna collect on this money and then it's just gonna go into the hands or into this grand total pot of, of the organizations, all right? And they can just pay out the bonuses at the end of the year. That's what it looks like to me. Now, for this small indie band, now that we have the, uh, the, the performance royalties covered, for our year, for like I said, for the one once a week show, twenty nine dollars and uh, sixty one cents. Well, let's go over it again. Seven song, thirty minute set, twenty nine dollars and sixty one cents for one week. Uh, for thirteen weeks, if you're doing it once a week for thirteen weeks straight, which is one quarter, it's three hundred eighty four dollars and ninety three cents. And then if you're just so great that you're doing fifty two weeks, one show a week for fifty two weeks for the whole year, one thousand five hundred thirty nine dollars and 72 cents all right according to bmi's uh live royalty this is only based on my knowledge of my royalty statement all right but now for our mavens here and our mavericks here uh let's say you do three products three merch products uh at ten dollars right that's thirty dollars every week you do some type of merchandise at ten dollars a piece you're selling three of them because you're a small band or a small one person act um you're going to do thirty dollars for that one week let's say your sales are just that good to do thirty dollars a week in sales all right um which is not bad with just a little bit of uh promotion and a little bit of consistency you can do that and then let's say you bump it up to you're doing three products a week for 13 weeks Right, we're looking at three hundred and ninety dollars. Now you can see how my model here goes right along with the royalty. Okay, then let's say you're just so great at it again, and you do it for fifty-two weeks. You're looking at one thousand five hundred and sixty bucks. Now, if we add this together, we're looking at three thousand dollars a year in side hustle income. For and we haven't even gotten to the streams and all the other royalty stuff, just the live performance royalty and the merch. We're looking at $3,000 for a small one-person act that's doing one show a week, maybe one 30-minute set a week, all right? At $3,000 for the entire year or a little bit more or, or around that, three or 1,600 bucks. That's not bad. Now, if you're doing this week in and week out, you may get so good that they actually pay you at the same time. So you might get a local fee of about 150 bucks to perform, all right? Or the, the bar or the local venue may say, hey, like, you're really good. Your set is really good. We'll pay you 150 bucks to perform, to open for people that we have, bigger acts that we have coming through the venue, all right? Then, let's say, again, you know, I, I didn't run these numbers, these local numbers. I didn't run the numbers because the performance fees can vary. You may get it, you may not get it. But let's say if you don't get the $150, but you do get the $30 for your royalty, and then you get the other $30 for your merch, you walk away with a little more than a third of that, okay? So I just want you to take a look, you know, to understand that it can be done. You can find money out there to help supplement all the other costs that you have going on. All right, so I want you to be, you know, as I look down at my computer, I want you to be aware of this live performance royalty. Because as I said in the beginning of the video, it can take 846 streams just to equal one live performance royalty. All right, everything is in the live show, guys. Everything is in the live show. Now, let's step this up. But before we do, I want you to take a look below at the links and I want you to go download the profit maximization checklist because as you could see, it's definitely about the music money makeover, all right? I'm telling you all the stuff that you can go to collect all the money that you need to collect, all right? Now, it's on you to put it all together because building strategies to get all the money that you can out of your music takes time, it takes work, and if you want to figure out how to do that and sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can text me 470-291-5767, 470-291-5767, and you can also download the free profit maximization checklist below, and if you text me, you'll get it uh, for free as well, and then you can download the musician's guide to self-publishing number one, the startup, and it'll show you how to start your very own publishing company and it's more than just signing up for BMI, ASCAP, and CSEC. You have to do a lot more than that, okay? And I teach you how to do that in that book, all right? And you can download that below in the links below. All right, so now let's keep going. Now, for the 
middle way, let's say you you've been doing the one week a show, I mean the one show a week, uh, for a little while, and you've got some success from it, then you're going to kind of bump up into this next class here. This next class will get you doing about two shows a week at the same time limit, okay? And again, these royalties are based on 100% of the money and from my BMI royalty statements and me monitoring my own royalty statements. Now, if we look at this, twice a week, 30 minutes set, seven songs in the set, $59.22 for one week, okay, on the royalties. Now, like again, if you're really hitting it hard and you're, you're doing great out there, you're doing two shows a week, 30 minutes set, seven songs in the set, we can add up those royalties to $769.86. And then if we want to bump it up to a year, because you're doing two shows a week, 52 weeks a year, if you're that great, because a lot of artists are, we're looking at $3,079.44. But wait, there's more. I haven't increased, I haven't added the merch into the into the joint yet. So look, let's check out, let's check out a merch model for this. All right, so let's add some merch right here. We're gonna do five products at $10 a pop, all right? A $10 product, I don't know what that could be. It could be a CD, it could be a sticker pack, it could be USB drives, whatever it is you have. It could be a poster at 50 bucks, right? For that total, for that one week, okay? And then we're gonna do, let's say, uh, that same week. This is for the week now. We're not gonna go into every show. You're gonna do, Five products at $10 a pop for both of the shows, right? In total, you're going to get 50 bucks, and then you're going to do four clothing type or merch merch types or like something at $30 a pop. You're going to do $120 for the entire week in that. So that's $170 for one week, all right? So let's keep digging into this. Now, if we look at where you will stand in about one quarter, if you keep your consistent numbers, two shows a week, right? The royalties from that, and then your merch a week, like I said, five products, right? At uh, $10 a pop, and then we have the four clothing type merch, so we're doing, what is that? Uh, nine products in total, all across the board. If we do that for 13 weeks, we're looking at 2,210 bucks, all right? Now, if we bump it up and we boss it up to 52 weeks, we're looking at $8,840. Now, now, if we look at this, it looks like the nice side hustle or full-time job if we know how to register everything properly here. So now we've got, you know, let's say once a week, we're looking at, um, $59.22, we're, I mean, excuse me, twice a week, $59.22. And then for the merch, we're doing $170 in revenue for the merch a week. Maybe your profit on that is 150 instead of 170. But if I look at that, what is that? I'm gonna add it up right here live on the show. We're looking at $59.22 plus $170 uh, equals $229.22. You know, I mean, let's, that's, that's like working at McDonald's right there. That's actually more than working at McDonald's for the week. You can push that. You have a full-time job now. Now we haven't even considered our performance fee. All right. So I'm going to add these in and I'm just going to talk about this on the side. Most acts on a one time a week thing may get like 100 to 150 bucks to perform at a venue. All right. If you're doing two shows a week, you're probably looking, you're doing pretty nicely. You might start getting offered 500 bucks to actually do a show or somewhere from three to five hundred dollars to do a show. Now, this will be based on the point where you, you know, you if you're doing two shows a week, you kind of might already have a band. You may be a single act. The performance fee won't be enough to cover the band, okay? I just want to be clear. So now that's why you're going to have to look at the royalties, the merch, all this other stuff to make sure you bring in money so that the band can can, can, can successfully uh, keep moving forward. So 500 bucks, you know, locally is not bad. Regionally meaning, some, re regionally, meaning like three hours, three to four hours max outside of your 
home city, you can look at a fee of roughly 500 to 1500 bucks. I recommend starting at about maybe the thousand dollar range, right? Because you gotta you want to include food, gas, if you gotta have lodging, or if they'll pay for it, and if they're not gonna pay for it, fifteen hundred bucks um, to get me to that city to perform. And then every city you're gonna be logging your set list, you're gonna take your merch. You know, the performance fee it's it's bonus, but without the performance fee, I just want you to understand. One person act, run through this number one more time. A one person act one time a week one open mic or just one show we're doing we're past the open mics we're doing one show locally might be for free we're looking at what i'd say we're looking at 29 dollars 61 cents for 30 minutes set and then we're looking at for merch 30 bucks 50, 60 bucks on the side isn't bad before performance fee. All right? And the other uh, the other 200 number I came up with is not bad. Like you're working the job now. Okay? It's fun. You're doing what you love. But if you don't know where this money comes from, how are you going to make this money? All right? So what I want you to do to help out with that and get educated on about these royalties is to download the profit maximization checklist below. And then download the Musician's Guide to Self-Publishing number one, the startup. So you can see how to set up these companies the right way. If you don't know how to set up these verticals or these different shells, whether it be your performance, your uh, your performance touring company, your merch company, your record company, your publishing company, and this book touches on the publishing side. If you cannot set these up so that you can run your career properly, then you're going to leave a lot of money on the table. And believe me, I got a, I got a whole list of shows that I'm doing that's going to talk about leaving money on the table. But anyway, that's been it for this show. Text me, 470-291-5767. I'm getting people texting me at 8 o'clock in the morning. Like, really? Like, I this is what I do, okay? So if you need help with getting your record company, your publishing company off the ground, you need help with strategy, you don't understand how to market your artists, give me a text. It'll come right here to this phone, right? Right here, and then we can talk about it, all right? Don't talk about it, be about it. That's what I'm about. I'll see you all next week.